Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing good. In this video, I am going to talk about the impressions which I got when I got into the all new Punch EV. Before that, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. The newly launched Punch EV has very cool features like Frank, EPB, 360 degree camera, ventilated seats, ET organized information cluster and I am going to talk about all the good features that this car has. But there are some things which I don't like personally. So please watch till the end to get to know them. The DRLs or the daytime running lamps are one of the highlights of the new Punch EV. These DRLs will greet you with welcome and goodbye notes. Also, these DRLs will show you the charging levels when the car has been put for charging. With the new active architecture, Tata has given new possibilities to their design elements and that has enabled them to put the charging port at the front. It adds in a positive way to the overall look of the punch. This also helped Tata to solve the issue of wire hanging underneath the car which was evident in the Tata Nexon EV. The charging port slides to open which is kind of a cool thing. The feel this EV gives when you sit at the driver's seat is a commanding one. The modern instrumentation cluster, ventilated seats, the sunroof, Herman infotainment system, six airbags and many more. All these features make you feel like you are in a modern yet safe car. A decent legroom for passengers sitting at the back is a great feature too. I had adjusted the driver's seat according to my needs and this is the legroom I got. Also, since there is no bulge in the middle, it is easier for the passengers sitting in the middle. Doors opening 90 degree is a bonus as well. Doors opening all the way to 90 degree is a very good feature and I think this is very practical. As an introductory price, Tata has set attractive pricing for this AV. What possibly can be more attractive than a good SUV, EV available at good price point. But this car also has some things which I don't like personally. The look from the rear could have been better. The look is same as the ice version of punch and it is kind of boring. Second point is, no charging ports or easy vents at the rear, which could have been a happy addition. Overall, this eye-catching compact yet powerful SUV is a family pack which is suited for city and highway drive but you have to plan your charging stops if you are planning for a longer drives. That's it for this video. If you like the content in this video, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.